Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Glitch Pokemon Blue. As you might see here, this notable trainer used for getting Mew. I'm gonna walk forward. And you'll see I'll get screwed over because I freeze when I perform the long range trainer glitch and then walk in front of a trainer directly without them walking. So don't do that because that's not very helpful. What I'm gonna do is lowest state and show you how to get Mew in Pokemon Blue. It's pretty much the same as yellow, but there's also another thing I'll show you too. So let's get started. You'll need an Abra for this, of course, at this point in the game. I didn't show it, but I have not beaten Misty nor Brock yet. And the Misty part is super important because we're going to use a different trainer. Someone told me about this in Pokemon Yellow. You can also do it in Blue, of course. This trainer right here and the water can be used to get Mew its last Pokemon, which is a Shelter. So I'm gonna set this up. I am gonna use a little bit of speed here just because it's gonna take a minute if I don't. Hopefully Pikachu can handle this. So remember, the amount of times you growl will lessen its level of the Mew of the Pokemon that's gonna show up once you complete the Trainer Escape glitch or the Mew glitch or Ditto trick. There's so many names for it. Oh wow. Was that the, I think that was the one in 256 chance miss. Because it, it totally just missed for whatever reason. And I'm pretty sure Growl has 100% accuracy in this generation. Alright, so that's 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we Growl 6 times, I'll do it one more. Basically, if you get nothing happened, it's how you know your Pokemon will be level 1 when it comes out. Or if it's a trainer, it'll be the roster number 1. So this will take it out. Dang, Pikachu. You're sad. <laughs> it's funny that I'm using a Pikachu in here. You're kind of forced to use one in yellow for a little bit, but I guess it's handy having an electric type this early for Misty. So after you do that, of course, return back to the route. So I'm going to speed on over there. Catching this Mew will be a bit interesting. I'm actually going to save a state when I get in here, because my strategy is to use Bulbasaur that I have. But I actually trade this Bulbasaur from Yellow, so it won't listen to me since I haven't beaten any of the gym leaders yet. Misty is what gives you the um, there we go, the ability to use Pokemon up until level 30. But you know it's level 15. I don't have her badge, so I probably won't. It probably won't listen to me. It's probably gonna like Vine Whip it or something. My luck. Oh wow, first try, not bad. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Uh, I feel like this will get boring pretty quick. Just gonna catch the Mew. Might even cut it, but yeah. I recommend paralyzing and then just using Leech Seed and maybe even Growl, but honestly it's level 1, so it's probably just going to do 1 damage, yeah. 15 Pokeballs, darn. Come on. Dang it. Cool, that wasn't too bad actually. New species. The next Pokemon I'm going to show you is very interesting that you can get doing this exact glitch, just with a different trainer. So of course, as we did with the Nido Queen, you see here, we're just going to go into a battle and switch out and let it gain some EXP. And as long as it's less than 55, it will go instantly to level 100. And another thing I should note that I also mentioned in Pokemon Yellow that I wish I mentioned sooner is that whenever you get these Pokemon. Whenever the EXP is over that weird amount, what actually makes the game think it's negative, to my knowledge, if that Pokemon goes into the PC directly, like let's say I had six Pokemon and I caught that Mew and it went directly into the Pokemon box, I wouldn't be able to withdraw it. I, I don't know if it works differently in blue, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as in yellow, where in yellow, if you withdraw that Pokemon, your game will freeze. And I don't think there's any way to avoid that, other than simply having it go directly into your Pokemon party opposed to the box in the PC. So that's something to look out for. What I mean by that is just make sure you have a slot open when you catch the Mew. Or the next Pokemon for that matter. But then again, this next Pokemon I'm not gonna growl to make it level 1 because I don't think it can go instantly to level 100. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Just wanted to look at its stats really quick. Yeah, pretty balanced of course, but I think its special is usually pretty higher. Much, much higher than that normally. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to heal up really quick and then I'll sit up for the next uh, long range training glitch, so I'll see you there. Alrighty, so now for this one, you want to make sure that you have not beaten Misty herself. 
because she is actually the trainer that we're going to use to get the next Pokemon. And what's interesting is something I discovered, and somebody's mentioned this before for what the uh, Out of Bounds LOL glitch. It's a different glitch you can do, but it requires a certain Pokemon to my knowledge. It's a relatively complicated glitch, but I know one thing that you need to do is fight a trainer before fighting Misty. So I'll be right back when I do that. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. And do yourself a huge favor and make sure you have not fought this trainer yet because normally you wouldn't have fought her and you can just walk up to Misty, fight her because she literally blocks you off and then you can just talk to Misty. But I fought her because you can get a Staryu using her. So that's what I did, using the Long Range glitch to get a Staryu from her. And then the Alabounds LOL glitch, as I was saying, talk to Misty here. Um, it requires getting a special Pokemon, a certain... It's like unterminating Pokemon? Like, you know there's items like that? It's like a super glitch Pokemon, if you will. It's kind of interesting what I've looked at, but I'll go into that more later. But the Pokemon that we get from Misty actually is suitable for that. Um, you just have to do it a certain way, because sometimes you won't get it unless you perform it the correct way, to my knowledge. Um, it involves resetting your, your game data, essentially, so I don't want to do that right now. We're just going to beat up on Misty. And like I said, I'm not going to growl at her, so I'm just going to beat her up. Do, do, do. I forgot that the gym leader theme in this game is very good. I'm gonna have to switch because I know Pikachu is not gonna be able to handle this. Wow, okay. Jeez. I don't know what it is. Like, why Why is the mascot of Pokemon like almost one of the weakest Pokemon around? <laughs> like, I guess it's in relatives of like electric types, it's not bad, I guess. But when looking at it from just Pokemon overall, it's pretty low. Pretty low on the, like, the tier list, if you will. Anyway, we're gonna smash this Starmie with a Needle Queen. Boom! Needle Queen smash! <laughs> Alrighty, so now we've taken care of that. We'll return back to the route. And as I said, please do yourself a favor and don't. Because I had to go all the way down to Vermilion City, essentially, the route right above Vermilion City. Because you can't fight any of the trainers on Route 25, because when you do, I guess you could use Teleport. I didn't consider that. So never mind, you could go up there and use teleport, but if you don't use teleport and walk back onto the route, you won't be able to go fight Misty before activating the glitch. So that's the thing there, but I literally just now thought of that. So if you have teleport, which you probably do, just teleport away if you fight a trainer up there. Just make sure you don't walk back onto the route too early, because then it will take the special stat of that Pokemon, opposed to Misty's Starmie, which we'll see in a second, yields. Missing no, which is really cool in here because it's not really much of a problem to encounter. Because you know, like the yellow missing no, it's a pain in the ass, honestly, because it would just crash your game over and over again. But in here, missing no doesn't do that, so it makes it really easy to multiply early. Um, rare candy that is. So of course, make sure you're you have that in the six slots. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I have Bubble Beam, which I mean, I guess isn't terrible to multiply. I am going to attempt to catch this missing no. If I don't, no big deal. I don't really need it. But there's an interesting effect you can get when you catch this missing no. Um, this particular one. I, I think it works both in red and red and blue and yellow, where it has that that weird feature. And like I said, I just recently started looking at it, so I don't know too much about it. But I do know that this missing no is suitable for that if you go out the right way. Like, it's so weird that you can just throw a Pokeball and you'll catch it immediately. But what's weird is, like, it won't even play the, the catching animation, for one. Like, I thought that was really interesting. But, like I said, I'm going to have to save that for another time. Oh, I forgot. I like to... If I use Tackle, I can bring it down to, like, red HP. It makes it easy to catch. So I'm just going to use Leech Seed, I guess. I'm just going to go through this really quick. You know what? You're going to see a small cut when it gets down to suitable health. Alright, so we're going to start chucking balls at this Misty No, hopefully we can get it. I forgot that it's much easier if you have a Pokemon that can actually fight this Misty No. That's why I didn't growl, because it actually would have made it more difficult to catch, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, there we go. I was like, where's my Pokeballs? <laughs> oh, come on. It is surprising that we can catch Misty No, because I know, I, I know there's at least some glitch Pokemon that don't have a catch rate. And so you have to use Master Ball to catch them. Like, I've heard that, I've read about it, that since the Master Ball bypasses the the catch rate, you can actually catch which Pokemon, certain ones. But Missy No, thankfully, I think it's just really low. I don't know how low. I'm going to say, like, probably 
close to legendary Pokemon, but not super close, because it's definitely easier. So yeah, we'll actually get a new Pokedex entry here, so this will be a bit interesting. Listen up here. It does this. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for stuff like this, apparently. Like, the game is trying its hardest to do what it thinks it's supposed to do. <laughs> I guess this makes up for speeding up through Misty's fight. Yeah. So much nostalgia, let me tell you. So yeah, that happens. But since it doesn't have a suitable Pokedex number, the game thinks it's a Rhydon. As you saw, it was 000, so the game's like, what the hell is this, and makes it a Rhydon. So it becomes a Rhydon because of that. So we can't use Misty now quite yet, but if we do this glitch again somehow, we can't use Misty, because like I said, we beat Misty, and now she's, we can't do it again. But we can just find another missing no. And like I said, it's not like the yellow missing no where you know it takes forever to show up and half the time it crashes. So if you want to get a missing no, you can. You just need certain special stat. Um, you can find that easily. I might link it down below, but it's really not the big of a deal. But one thing I want to show that I think is kind of goofy. This is something I tried to do in yellow, but it actually doesn't work too well in yellow. Is that we've beaten Misty, but not Brock. And I'm gonna see how far I can go without beating Brock. To my knowledge, it can be all the way until the 8th gym leader. So yeah, we'll get to that. That's all I have for now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.